Hello, welcome to my channel today. This is the King's Tutor. Okay, if this is the first time of joining us, kindly click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and if you like the video, you can share it. Okay, so today we want to look at uh, um, single entry and incomplete records. Okay, I receive DM and also um, 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 uh, comments in my previous videos. Um, some students say they wanted. Uh, single entry and incomplete records okay now let's proceed now what is single entry and incomplete records now from the word if you break it in syllable single entry it means that um, a particular entry is made for um, just one um, recording okay so if you put it in accounting term single entry refers to a recording system that do not connote to the double entry principle that do not adhere to the double entry principle. Remember the dual aspect or double entry principle states that for every debit entry, there should be what a corresponding what credit entry and vice versa. It means that for one transaction, two accounts is what affected. For instance, if we say uh, cash sales, cash sales, 2000, now it means that two accounts are affected for one transaction. For instance, what is affected here? The cash book and the sales account. Now in the cash book, you will debit sales because the money is being received, 2000 Why also in the sales account, the corresponding entry comes here as cash, 2000 Okay, so you see for every one transaction, two-fold aspect is being recorded, two account is being affected. Okay, that is what's double entry principle or the dual aspect of transaction. Okay, so but this single entry it is trying to say that the, uh, the bookkeeper do not follow this principle. The bookkeeper records only uh, probably one um, aspect of the transaction. And ignore the order and if it is done like that the whole financial statement would not balance okay so the single entry means what um, a record system that do not adhere to the double entry what principle or particularly a record system that would uh, focus on the personal aspect of account and the impersonal aspect is what ignored okay why the other part incomplete records from the word incomplete it means that the financial statement presented is not adequate for preparation of what um, the financial statement okay so the incomplete records refers to um, a record in which the available items the available transactions are inadequate they are incomplete in preparation of what the final accounts okay now most time um, the single entry and incomplete records are most um, a mistake made by little business or bookkeepers that are not conversant with the accounting principle. Okay, that is where the uh, the intellect of the accountant is needed to use either the single entry or where there is incomplete records to prepare and um, put forward um, the final accounts. Okay, that is what we want to see. How can a business have a profit when it has single entry? Um, item or incomplete sort records okay now let's see that okay now in single entry and incomplete records okay our focal point our main aim is to uh, the business as per se is how they can get profit and how they can show the financial statement okay now we have two ways a question can come from single entry and incomplete record we have two ways we can uh, compute our profit. Okay, and the first one is the computation computation of profit from two balance sheets. Okay, why the second one is conversion of Single entry to double entry. Now, with these two ways, 
we can get our profit and repair um, the final accounts. Okay, so the first one is computation of profits from two balance sheets. And most time, we might be given an incomplete record of single, single entry in which we are asked to what, get the profit. And how do you get the profit? The first aspect in which the question might arise from single entry is when um, they give you a statement and they say prepare or get the statement of profit. So the first way is computing um, profit from two balance sheets. It means that you have um, opening um, balance sheet and closing. And this balance sheet we are talking about is the statement of affairs. I said it before in my previous video, if you've not seen that, check when I talked about um, um, accounts for non-profit making organization. I make reference to statement of affairs. I say statement of affairs is an abridged balance sheet, a summarized balance sheet that is prepared for a particular purpose, either to get opening capital or what? Closing capital. The opening capital, to get it, you use items at the beginning. Why to get the closing capital use items at the what, uh, end? The recordings contains those same uh, item that is posted to the, what, the balance sheet. If you are conversant with that, okay. So computation of profit from two balance sheets and conversion of single entry to double entry. And this is where we convert the single entry recording to what double entry system. By doing that, some items are not there, but because we are accountants and we are Using our intellect, this is brought to us, so we have to what, convert them from single entry to double entry. And by doing that, we we'll provide those items that were not there, so that we can provide our, our computes and prepare the final account. Most of the time, um, in this conversion of single entry to double entry, you wouldn't see items like sales, purchases, it wouldn't be there. But because we are content, we have a way of getting those things. Okay, so we'll start from computation of profit from two balance sheets. And this video will deal um, particularly on that. Then in my next video, we'll talk on conversion of single entry to what double entry. Okay. Now, if for the first one, conversion of profits, for, um, computation of profit from two balance sheets. Now, in this situation, we have three main step to follow three main step okay so if okay let's focus on this now in this now i said we have three main step to follow now the first one or the first step is preparation of or prepare opening statement of affairs open the statement of affairs while the second one is prepare closing statement of affairs okay and why the third one is preparation of statement of profit or loss. Now, in the first method, which is completion from two balance sheets, these three method, um, three steps should be adhered. The first one, preparing opening statement of affairs. Second one, preparing closing statement of affairs. Why the third one, preparation of statement of profit or loss. Now, the reasons for preparing this is to get what we call opening capital. Okay, why the other one reason for preparing is that the closing statement of affairs is to get closing capital. Why this the reason for preparing is to either get our profit or loss. Okay, as the case may be. I've said it before, we're going to see the format. We said the statement of affairs is an average balance sheet. So let's see how to do this. Now the first one, the opening statement of affairs, it will look like the same way we have our balance sheets. So we have statement of affairs as at 1st January 
स्लैश 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 ओके सो आप इफ लाइक दिस ओके सो हाफ आवर फिक्स एसेट्स हियर दैट फिक्स एसेट्स नो फिक्स एसेट आई थिंक दैट कैन लास्ट ऑन कैरिडा हाफ लैंड एज अ बिल्डिंग कैन हैव अ फर्नीचर and fittings you can have plants and machinery and all that okay so this will be a uh, fixed asset also you can have items of the current assets like uh, debtors will be there a uh, stock will be there will be there a uh, cash will be there And so on. So, if we add up all items, and also we we'll have current liabilities here, we we'll have our creditors will be there, our bank overdraft will also be there. Now, watch the preparation of opening statement of affairs. You will use only items at the beginning. Most times, it might not necessarily be first generated, but if you compare the two um, items given, the two values given, check the one that is what that is opening that comes first, as we got either the date of the month or a uh, day. Okay. For instance, if you have two um, uh, values that has the same thing, if One is presented in January and the other one is December. It means this becomes an opening. Why this item under it becomes a closing? Okay. The same way, if you have something in 2004 and another one in 2010, this one becomes an opening. Why this one becomes a closing? Okay. So in preparing this, we use only items at the beginning to get opening capital. Now you see, this is how our uh, Balance sheet looks like, but in this now, the balancing figure. When you have this, you add up. Then you have this, you also add up. So you deduct this value from the total of this. So it will not give you a balancing figure, which is called the opening capital. The opening capital. Okay. So. It then means that if we add up this, remember in balance sheet, these two is supposed to what balance, okay? Same way, supposed to what to balance. So if you add it up and have the value, then you deduct the summation of all your current liability from the total. The balancing figure will give you what the opening capital, okay? So which is the reason for preparing this? Now, once we have our opening capital, I will move to the next step. Which is preparation of the closing statement of affairs to get the what closing capital. Okay, so we'll move to the next one also. Now we'll say statement of affairs. Statement of affairs as at thirty first either December. Okay, so the same way. So we we'll have value of our fixed assets like plant and machinery, land and building, and all that. Okay, and we we'll also have our current assets like our stock debtors. Okay, so we'll add up, add up. Okay, this will give us. So we'll come here also, our current liability, our current liability, or our current liability can be creditors, uh, bank overdraft, okay, so if we also have this, we'll add it up. Deducted from whatever we have in the current liability, so the balancing figure will given to us will not be our closing capital. I 
and putting question mark to show you that that is the reason for preparing this. Okay, so that when you add up, it will give you this. So what should prepare the opening statement of affairs, the closing statement of affairs, then you are now left with preparation of statement of profit or what? Loss. Now this is where you now determine if the business made a profit or they incurred a loss. Okay? So that is the first part, computation of profit. Now let's see the format for the statement of profit or what? Loss. Now this format is the comparison between these two capital. Okay? Now if the closing capital is higher than the opening capital, there is a profit, okay? But if the uh, opening capital is higher than what? Closing capital, then there is a what? There is a loss. Now, let's see it. Let's see how to also prepare that the statement of profits or loss. Now, uh, the statement of profit or loss, okay? So we we'll have the first item, closing capital. The closing capital. Now another thing is add drawings. We we'll add drawings to it. So whatever we we'll have, we we'll have it here. Now it's not be less opening. Capital. I have it here. Now we we'll add additional capital. So in case in the question they say there's an additional capital added to the business, so I have additional capital. So if you add it to this, you have a value here, which we can now less. Okay. So this minus this will either give us a profit or loss okay and i said before it is profit when your closing capital the total you have here is greater than this you have profit it is loss when what you have here is less than this okay so it is profit when what you have here is greater than this why it is loss when what you have here is greater than this okay so that is that. So that is the first part, which is computation of profits from two balance sheets. This is a two balance sheet. Okay. So this um, how to get our opening statement of affairs. I told you use only item at the beginning. At the beginning to get this. Once you um, have um, filled in and written your fixed asset, current asset, the current ability, the balancing figure is what will give you opening capital. You add up this, the total, deduct what you have here, the to, uh, uh, balance or the total of the current liability, deduct it from the total of this, it will give you opening capital. The same way for um, closing capital, use item at the end. So when you have all this, the third step is to prepare this. Closing capital, if there is any drawings, you add it. Okay? Then there is opening capital, or if there is any additional capital, there is none. So you then you have this. So this minus this either give us our profit or loss. Now let's see a typical question on how to solve this. Don't go anywhere. Okay, welcome. Let's um to uh, solve the solution to this. And the question said the following is a statement of affairs of Uju Enterprises and that first journey 2020. Now we have creditors, this label, and all that. And it said on 31st December 2020, the following were the ledger balances creditors 15, this label 800, plant and equipment 25, stock 500, debtors, this label cash. Now they said his drawings during the period amounted to 800, required ascertain the profit or loss. Okay, now we are lucky. This is already prepared for us. Most times it's not like this. They so just give you uh, the value like that for you to prepare. Okay? So, this is our solution. Now, we start by preparing statement of affairs as our first journey. I told you use items at the beginning to get opening capital.
Okay, so we will just post at the right hand side there. We we'll have the fixed um, assets. The fixed assets. Okay, so we have plant and machinery. Uh, plant and equipment. Sorry. The amount is three thousand. Um, okay, that's all for fixed assets. I also have current assets. And we have stock there. One thousand. We have debtors. 500. We have bills receivable. One thousand. And we have cash. Hundred. So we we'll add this up. All this will give us five thousand six hundred. Okay. So we we'll come here. Our current. Liabilities. Current liabilities will have credit or It's 
my calculator. Uh, 4,800 minus 1,5 minus 800 is giving us 2,5. So this is 2,5. Okay, that's 2,5. Okay, so we've gotten the opening capital, we've gotten the what? The closing capital. So let's prepare a statement of profit and loss. So the first thing in the format we said is what? Closing capital. So the closing capital we said is 2.5. That's 2.5. Now add, add what? Drawings. And drawings was given the question 800. So we have 800. So two five, this is three thousand three hundred. Okay. Now what do we less? Less opening capital. Now this is our opening capital. What is what? Three thousand. There is no additional capital. We would have added it. Okay. So if we let opening capital, three thousand three hundred minus three thousand will give us what? Three hundred. So this becomes our profit. Okay? So had it been this is greater than this, it will be loss of 300. Okay? So that's how to prepare um, the profit when you're giving two balance sheets. I said it's the first way the question might come. Whereby you're giving two um, items of the balance sheet, one at the beginning. One at the end, okay, to get to open and close the capital and to prepare this, okay. So that is how it is being prepared. So in the next video, we're going to see the second aspect, which is uh, actually the main part, converting single entry to what double entry. Now we can get um, the profit from that, okay. So if this is the first time of joining us, kindly like, comment, and share. Okay, if you want to have an in-depth knowledge in accounting and financial, at, um, the King's Tutor is a place to be. Okay, if you have any questions, kindly drop in the comment section. Okay, thank you very much.